That charity is linked to Congresswoman Corrine Brown. Documents are detailing how hundreds of thousands of dollars went to lavish parties, personal trips, and car payments. This is CBS 47 Action News Jackson 11. I'm Letitia Barriola. I'm John Bachman. We were the first station to alert you that the head of the group One Door for Education pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Action News Jacks, Catherine Varnum has been going through dozens of new documents all night. And Catherine, new tonight, you're showing us what some of this money was used for. And John, these documents detail exact bank records of withdrawals, tens of thousands of dollars taken from one door for education and deposited of almost equal amounts into the personal accounts of just three people. Clearly, there are forces out there trying to take me out. I understand that. It's a witch hunt, and I'm, a, I'm the witch they're trying to get. That's how Congresswoman Corrine Brown responded last month to questions about her involvement with One Door for Education and a federal subpoena she received in January. These federal documents were filed today after the head of One Door pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud. In them, Carla Wiley laid out for the feds how she and two others, referred to as Person A and Person B, used the organization to solicit large donations. The federal documents also reveal money didn't go to any charitable causes. While Congresswoman Brown isn't directly named, the documents state the website's homepage for One Door for Education was updated with a series of nine new photographs. The document says Person A appeared in three pictures. We counted Congresswoman Brown three times. Today, the plea deal also details a 2013 golf tournament at TPC with Person A's name associated with it. We found this saved the date with Kareem Brown's name, the House of Representatives seal, announcing the golf tournament sponsored by One Door for Education. We also found reference to $5,000 in funds from One Door being used in September of 2014 on a commemorative issue of a Florida-based magazine with Person A on the front. This is the October 2014 commemorative cover of Onyx magazine featuring Kareen Brown. We went to the Congresswoman's office and home. So far, she's not saying anything. And neither Wiley nor her attorney have returned my calls. When I called Congresswoman Brown today for a comment, she hung up on me. We'll continue to, following the, to follow this developing story and bring you any new updates when we get them.